Hi everybody, it's Christine Bertram. I'm coming to you live from the Hive on a dreary, cooler Wisconsin day um, here in the Hive. <laughs> so, you guys, it's Friday the 13th. Does that mean you're superstitious and you don't want any black cats walking in front of you? I don't know. But I have a friend who's getting married today and their <laughs> wedding is going to be on Friday the 13th, you guys. And it is like a a masquerade type wedding, I guess. They told us that if we want to, we can wear masks. And so I have them. I should show you guys. You guys want to see the mask I'm wearing? Oh man, hang on. I bet I can go get it. I haven't really decided exactly, but let's just see here. I'm going to put the camera down and show you guys what you're going to be working on so that you can start studying your homework right now. So that's what we're working on. Give me one second. <clears throat> So none of these are mine, you guys. These are actually my best friends. Um, and we went to high school together. And she's very fashionable. She's my friend that makes sure I'm not living in the 1980s. Uh, she makes sure my hair is cut okay and my clothes are usually acceptable if, I, if we're going out. Generally, I don't care. <laughs> when I'm with her, I want to look nice. <laughs> hi, Jean Turboliger. Hi, Paula Rice. Hi, Donna Gruski. So in case you guys are wondering, this is what I have in store for me later today. Uh, the wedding is at five o'clock, and so we're gonna work here feverishly in the hive as much, getting as much as we can done until maybe two-ish, and then it's like, okay, gotta go get ready for a wedding. So <clears throat> Tyler is wearing, oh, I think I have his mask over here too. I have to pick between these two, and I actually haven't looked at myself in either one of them. So guys, you can en enlighten me here and help me pick out a mask maybe. He's happy with either one of these. So <clears throat> he told me they look like lingerie. <laughs> They do. Hang on, let me see if his mask is here. Uh, mm, oh, it is. You are so cute, babies. Okay. So, Tyler is in love. Hi, Mary Carls. Hi, Mary Ellen Ryan. Tyler is in love with Phantom of the Opera. He wants to take me someday to see it on Broadway. And we meant to do it last year and the year before, and this always make... You always, we're always busy with plans and it's hard to sneak away for a weekend. So, um, <laughs> so he wanted to be, he wanted to wear this mask. Okay. So from like the Phantom of the Opera, it's way too big for my head, but he, uh, this is what he's going to wear today. He said it's not very comfortable. It's definitely not, not exciting to wear it. But, um, for Halloween, we're talking about going out to, uh, with some of our friends, my best friend from high school and her boyfriend and they do a costume thing. And he wants to dress up as the Phantom and Christine. Christine is the main character. So he said that he's so excited because my name is the same as the main character. <laughs> and she's got brown hair too. All right. So you guys, I haven't even looked at myself with these at all. But all right. So this is one mask. All right. Hi, Carol Alanis. <laughs> the bottom one. Okay. So I think this is the top one. Okay, you guys. So this is option one. Okay. Um, <laughs> and this is option two. I think Donna voted for this one. So we'll have to see. I haven't even looked at myself. Oh, yeah. Okay. Tyler said it looks like butterfly-ish. There's that. Okay. So that's what we got. Both of these are, are relatively comfortable. Um, so they shouldn't get all up in my eyes. I don't wear glasses usually. You guys, the only time I wear glasses is when I'm live so I can read your comments and when I'm working at my computer. Otherwise, I don't wear, I don't wear glasses. So if you guys ever see me out in public, like you'll be like, I don't recognize her without her glasses. Um, all the other ones in the bag, you guys, are are just, they're different. Hi, Sherry Everett. <laughs> Donna's at the bottom one. Okay, so I think if you guys, if you're good with it, I think I'll go with that one. <laughs> Maybe I should be like Vanna White, right? And bring both of them along. And halfway through the night, I can switch into the other one. <laughs> like a ball gown dress, right? Oh, fun stuff, right? Fun times at Richmond High. Um Mary Ellen said number two as well. Okay, so there you go. See, this is nice. I'm polling the audience and figuring out which one. So there's a bunch here. <laughs> there's a bunch in this bag, you guys. There's actually, and we voted already like the rest of these. I Oh, Mary Carl's likes one better. Okay, Paula's is two. Um, this one, oh wait, you're not even looking at it. Hang on. This one here is, it's got like, it's short on the side and it goes up there, but that flippy floppies. So that one was like not a good option. This one is only half of an eye, so it's kind of like Tyler's where um, there's one eye covered. 
I don't know where she got all these, you guys. This one was not comfortable. I remember putting this one on and it was like, yup, nope. And this one is cool looking, but these things don't stay standing up. They kind of flip over. So these guys were a no-go. Um, Sherry says the most comfortable. <laughs> so um, they're both pretty comfortable. So um, I think maybe I'll bring the, wear one and bring the other one along just in case. But you guys, we have a morning class. <laughs> I was just thinking in my head, I don't do mornings well. So I, I'll be honest with you guys. My friend Jennifer always has this cup of coffee with her and she always says coffee cheers. And so coffee cheers to everybody. I do need to drink a little coffee to keep me going guys um it was up till two o'clock so if you guys some of you got emails from me I was up working until about 1 30 1 45 I think it was two before I actually went to bed and I felt pretty accomplished when I went to bed that I got through a lot of emails not all of them but I feel better than when I um started the evening <laughs> so all right so I have some happy mail here you guys I want to share with you <coughs> so um this is from Helen Chase you guys um Helen, I hope you're not um, um, embarrassed, but I want, I'll read it, but you guys can't see it. How about that? Um, just was playing around one day and came up with this. Um, she didn't make the inside. Her brain was tired, but um, she put on scraps of DSP in a triangle, like on the front of the top corner and the bottom corner. Um, and she said, doesn't look too terrible, right? <laughs> so, um you guys, I love all your craftiness. And so Helen went out and she sent me a card. This is my first card from Helen, I think. So Helen Chase, thank you for this beautiful card. I came with your check. So thank you so much. <laughs> you guys, I got, I took in my coffee too soon. Um, This is from Carol Lee Crab, you guys. All right. Wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. And so there's a cute little card. This is that, like it was Daisy Celebration paper. And then that is from the Pansy set little strips of paper on the inside. So that was from Carol Lee Crab. All right, so that's the happy mail I wanted to share with you guys that I got yesterday. All right, so we're going to put the mask over here, and we're going to do the kit, you guys. <coughs> so you guys get my morning voice, too. <laughs> you hit the morning frog. <laughs> we had it on, on Wednesday morning, too. That's just part of me doing morning classes, you guys. That's why I, I try to start class at 1 o'clock, usually. But I knew with the wedding this afternoon, I couldn't <laughs> do a 1 o'clock class. Hi, Marsha Long. All right, you guys, we're going to be doing this kit. So every month, Stampin' Up! comes out with a different kit. Um, starting in January, I heard that they're going to start to do two kits a month. So we're going to have to look at that. <laughs> but for right now, we're doing one kit a month. And... Oh my goodness. I got to go get my cutter thing from Carmen Sanders. Hang on. <laughs> oh, where is it? Right there. You guys, <laughs> I just got to promote this thing. It's so amazing. It cuts open the plastic um, without really ripping. And it just has this like micro mini plastic blade. And Carmen Sanders gave me this. It's from Pampered Chef, you guys. If you want one, go get one. If you don't have a Pampered Chef girl, I have one. And she would hook you up. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I told you guys you're going to get my morning frog. And at least it doesn't go ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. All right. Let's look at what we got here, you guys. So, every month we put a kit together. Uh, I always love to ask the million dollar question is, does anybody have the kit? <laughs> Are you putting it together with me? Uh, this is called the Rustic Christmas Countdown Kit. Uh, it's just that, a countdown to Christmas. And it looks like there's all these little envelopes and you're going to decorate them up. It looks like, I was looking at this, I studied it just for uh, about maybe 10 seconds. And it looked like there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the wreath. So there must be an instruction here for just the wreath one and what you need for this one. So it looks like there's one, two, three, four different styles of envelopes. And we're going to make up all of the envelopes. <clears throat> so I think that people have been turning these into cards as well and um, definitely using them outside of the box of making it like this. You could definitely add, when we get done with it and we can see how big the, the envelopes are, we could potentially see what it looks like by adding them onto, um, onto a card base. Hi, Cindy Hutchings. So let's see what we have. We have the clothespins. <clears throat> they're really like they're little but they're thick like they're really they're wider than like a mini one it came with some dimensionals it came with some cording I like most of the kits but three 
up. It's hard to see. So you guys, sometimes when your comments come through, the heart is right over the word. <clears throat> and I gotta see, I, and then I wait for it to come up here. <laughs> so Carol's is coming. Jean Turwilliger really ordered it, but it hasn't arrived yet. I know Diane Bogenhagen ordered a couple of these, you guys, um, and more than a couple. I think she got them for her grandkids and she's gonna put them together. All right, so we've got two different colors of envelopes here. It looks like a more tan one and then a lighter tan, like a khaki color. Hi, honey. What you doing, girlfriend? All right, so that's what we have there. Some sequins. They are actually like a nice cherry cobbler sequin. <clears throat> Great little addition to these envelopes. They're very sparkly. Very sparkly. We'll set those off to the side. Then it looks like we have our numbers. So we have some numbers on logs, like from a tree, and some are rectangles. And then it looks like we have some it's kind of like a coppery gold. It's more gold than it is copper, but it's definitely not a true gold. <clears throat> All right. Definitely more gold. <clears throat> and then we have flowers. We have bows. We have leaves, points like holly pieces, some wreath pieces. Ooh, I found some mini glue dots. Oh, they're actually bigger than mini glue dots. Well, maybe they're the traditional size. They're not small like paper pumpkin ones. So we'll set those over there. <clears throat> oh, I like most of the kits, but three kits month. Plus you, but but three kits month. I like the clothespins. <laughs> Don, I'm trying to read your comments. <clears throat> All right, and then we have here more wreaths. Okay, so there's a lot of popping out of pieces, and I think that's what I like to do most. You guys, there's some sort of enjoyment that I get about popping things out. So I like to. It, it's like paper kind of ripping, but in a good way because it's actually perforated. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is pull all these out, make our piles. So definitely you guys, this could be utilized, this gold. You could cut these off straight here and end up adding these little pieces of foil to cards, to, like, to your cards. So instead of throwing these away, you might consider using these or repurposing these. So those don't go to the garbage, actually. <laughs> uh, and then here we've got <clears throat> some numbers here. I feel like we have way more than 25 here. So I'm trying to figure out our numbering system. But we're popping these out. And then we'll pop out our little Lincoln Logs here. I probably should be thinking about keeping some sort of tally on the numbers, but I'm not worried about that quite yet, you guys. I'm just enjoying the popping these pieces out. <clears throat> and then we have here all of these. So, okay, so there's a lot of sheets here, you guys. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. What are the odds I can pop all of them out at once? Hmm. I think I'm getting... Oh, yeah. Just a little bit of wiggle. Be careful. You want to make sure that they don't rip out, though. This one was being a little bit tough here, so we might just... There, that's good. <clears throat> Maybe doing three at a time was probably the better number. But these should... Oh, yeah, there we go. And pop all those out. We're going to make piles of these. Oh, it's raining, it's pouring. The old man is snoring. He bumped his head and he couldn't get up in the morning. That is definitely what's going on outside. <clears throat> All right, so we got that pile. So I was able to do, it was probably three of them at the same time. So let's put those over here. And then let's grab that pile. It's so nice that they come out without ripping. So there's that pile. Hi, good morning, Hills and L. All right, so there's that. <clears throat> and then we've got our bows and leaves here. So let's make piles of these. <clears throat> so there's a lot of popping going on, you guys. And once you pop, you can't stop. So we got leaves there, bows. And then I think once we have all of our pieces popped out, We'll make our piles and we'll get them situated and sorted by the type of little pockets that we're making or envelopes that we're making. So that's, you know, double check to make sure you're not missing something because it's very possible that <clears throat> you overlook something and then you don't want to accidentally throw it away. So 
we have our point set up pile here. We'll put that there. And that there. And then, all right, we got some berries here. <clears throat> put them there. And then some more leaves. Perfect. Okay. And then back to this. There must be here two more of these that are needed. So put them on those pads. Okay. <clears throat> got back down to the end of the box here. So we got our cardboard. And then what we can do, the wind just picked up here. Yeah. I just, it just about uh, maybe a minute ago, two by us. It just got heavier. <clears throat> All right. So let's look what we got. We've got the four different things. And so I'm guessing we need six here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And this one is six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on. This one must be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's this one. Whoa, hi. Hello. Hello. Keep her moving. Nothing to see here, little one. <clears throat> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is this one. And then this one must be six up here. And then a seven. Or six. Perfect. Okay. Right? Six, 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 and seven. So that makes 25. So I've got my quadrants here. <clears throat> now, the gold little, you guys, you know where Honey went? She's sitting right behind me. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's where those go. Our little berries go here. These little leaves go on this pile right here. I don't know what that is. This thing. Oh, those are clothespins. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> the little Lincoln, these little logs here. This goes on this pile. And it looks like all the leaves go here like that. All of these leaves go on this bottom one. The rectangle log looking things go on this one. These go over here. <clears throat> this is part of our poinsettia right here. That goes. Our bows go on this pile and these poinsettias go down here. <clears throat> the ribbon goes, I think, later on. But I think that's kind of like we got a little bit of organization going on here. I guess we'll start with number one over here. So let's put these piles off to the side and grab this one. They have it first for a reason. So let's see if we can figure it out. <clears throat> so we're going to go to number one. Now we're going to flip in here. And that must be number... Yep, number one is this guy. <clears throat> so... We have one, two, you guys, I hadn't looked at this before we started, so I don't even know what we're getting ourselves into. <laughs> so we're learning together. <clears throat> Hopefully I can make any mistakes that need to be made ahead of you so that you don't make the same mistakes. This one has seven, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, this is the seven, okay. <clears throat> and it looks like the light green layers on top here like that and they get adhered together it looks like they're telling us to use liquid um the glue dots you guys so these mini glue dots is what they tell you to use but they're always a, a little bit of a pain in the butt to use for me so i personally i think i might just go for liquid glue so i'm going to pull back <clears throat> the light green ones and we're just going to put a little bit of glue on, so the light one goes on the top. So we're just doing little liquid glue here. We'll just do three at a time just to see once how, the, how this process goes. And we're gonna slightly offset them so that you see the dark come from underneath as well. I don't know, something like that. And then this one, same thing. I'm just making sure that they're not completely overlapping each other. All right, and then this one goes right there. All right, that doesn't seem so crazy. So 
We're gonna get all hands on deck with our glue here. Like that. And we'll get these lined up. Same, they, no, you guys, these are very, like they catch each other and they're picky. So you just gotta be kind of careful. So Tyler was supposed to be having a chainsaw party tomorrow, you guys. He, Tyler loves cutting down trees that are dead and utilizing the wood and helping people get stuff cleaned up. And we have some friends that live down in Kowaskum and they live in a wooded area and they were gonna do a chainsaw party tomorrow where all the guys come together and they get their chainsaws and they start cutting down the trees that are dead and cleaning up the area, right? Well, he's really sad now because it's supposed to rain all weekend long and oh, yeah, poor guy. So I'm gonna grab some dimensionals here. Because what it looks like we need to do is it shows that this is popped up, these guys. So we're just gonna flip these over and so he's a little bit sad. And I told him what I need is like a, a mental health day tomorrow. <laughs> I need a day of just cleaning up, you guys. It's like a crafter math upstairs in my craft room uh, from the last two months of a whirlwind of everything. So I told him I need to get stuff cleaned up. I need to get the she shed in order. I just, I need to get the garage back in order. I need to get the house clean. And I said, I'm okay that it's raining tomorrow because that is the perfect day to do something like that. So that's my mental health day is getting things around me organized and back on track. So we're going to pick all these off. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, I got two things done last night for sure. For, I got more than two things done, but the two things that were on my list um, that were first and second were publishing clue number one for game night. So you guys, that's out there. You can find it for Monday night. Go look for game night. Not, not game night, so sorry, mystery card night. And clue one, I don't know if there's like a top or a bottom to these, so we're just going to set these right in the middle. So I got clue number one published for mystery card night, so that's awesome, yay. So um, we are making an amazing fun fold. Um, Dolores sent me a card in the mail back, I would have to say in July, and she said this would be a great mystery card. And I had already had July done, I think I had August like planned, and then with me being gone and Kelly doing mystery card night uh, in September, I left, I, I opted for an easier um, card. Now I got Dolores's card in the lineup for Monday night, you guys. So I'm so excited to share her mystery card layout with you. So that was awesome. So we got that. And then we put our little bozies go right here. They go right underneath. And I think what I'm going to do is instead of using a glue dot, I'm just going to put little dots of glue right underneath you guys i am a liquid glue girl so i don't mind and love using liquid glue so i'm just putting little dots of it here on the bottom of the wood and so i got lots done last night you guys we got the mystery card layout clue number one figured out we got this class published and on the do on the docket like on the docket got it emailed out um and then i got through emails and it was good, it was good. Got lots of stuff done. So you guys, because I have those little, it was just so much easier to put a little dot of liquid glue on all of these than it was to pick off a glue dot and then go through that painful process of picking the little wax paper off. So I try to hit the easy button as much as I can and I'm trying to make sure they're straight. So you guys, these are adorable. You could definitely, if you're not a kit person that likes to make 3D projects like this, you could incorporate these into your Christmas cards. Like I could see adding um, um, an embossed mat and then adding like an embossed mat, adding a sentiment on here. Well, exactly, not really. They have numbers on them. What you do maybe is add a little circle to the center of this with a baby sentiment in it right? And cover up the numbers and keep the wood. So they have like the stylish shapes dies. There's one that's that small that you could use in either vanilla or white and put a little circle inside the wood stump. Um, and then you put that onto the emboss and then get rid of the numbers. All right. Then it's saying that we need six, six of these gems. And so let's grab them and grab our pokey tool here, like the putty end. And we're going to not really be strategic, but let's put one there, one out there, and one can go here. 
Now these, you do want to press them down. I have this sneaking suspicion that if you don't like stick these really good into the paper, they're just going to kind of flop right off and fall off. And if this is a hanging project, you're going to have it hanging in your home. Like the adhesive will eventually dry out and then the little sequins are going to get on the floor. Like we're going to put that right there. I was trying to be like some out and some in and it just, I think that's okay. So it's a cute little wreath, cute little wreath with a number in it. All right, so we're gonna push these down. Otherwise you're gonna have the sequins all over your dog and all over your cat's belly. I can actually see too, if you have rhinestones, I could a really big rhinestone right in the middle of the bow would be cool. All right, we're gonna keep going because I like to say with the kit, they just it just needs to get done, right? <laughs> We need to get everything on here. I want to put this guy over here. So when you're using your putty tool and it's not picking up anymore, you just ever so slightly have to twist this so that a little putty comes out. It's like a worm that starts coming out then. And you just, it's like the smallest amount just came out right there but it's like toothpaste. If you squeeze it really hard, it's gonna whoop all over. But with this, you just do a slow little twist and then all of a sudden it starts to roll right out. Let's see here, we're gonna put him out there. Put that one out there. Cute little red sequins are pretty. Put one there. Like that. So do you guys plan to make this kit up as is and have it as a Christmas countdown calendar hanging up? Or do you plan to reutilize it and make it into something else like a card? Like, or multiple cards? You could make 25 cards, I'm guessing, with all the different, with all the different, the different things, the different envelopes. Okay. Let's get one more here. So we're almost done with seven of them, which is a, more than a quarter. Very pretty. All right. We got putty flying everywhere. So let's grab these two. We got seven, four more to do here. So we're gonna, I always, for some reason, I'm starting up here on the top of where the number is. So it's not directly above it. We're gonna put this one here and that one there. Put that one out there. Like that. Oh, the other thing I got done, you guys, I told you guys yesterday, we had, I think it was actually when I counted, we have 12 new bees on the team. So I was able to do my welcome post in my, I have a private Facebook group for my team. And so I was able to do a welcome post. And I had a few girls that promoted to Bronze Elite in the last couple days. I was able to do my congratulations post. You guys, it was rocking and rolling. Got all my reminders for classes scheduled. <laughs> It was a productive night last night. Tyler worked pretty late too. He worked, he wasn't back here until 11 o'clock. I missed that one. So he had a late night. All right, so that one's done. And then, like that little guy. So sometimes I use the, the pick end here to kind of also pick it up. Like that. Nothing like a lot of bling going on here. All right, that guy could go there. There, and one more. Okay, so we used quite a few on those, but there's a lot left here. All right, so we've got a good chunk done here, guys. We got seven of these done. Okay, aren't they pretty? All right, let's see here. There's still another step, though. <clears throat> they need to get adhered to these, so let's make sure... Oh... <sighs> okay you know what it says that they actually get adhered to the clothes pins what I'm seeing because it's saying to put glue dots now you guys I feel like these glue dots are not going to be very strong um, it's showing that it gets attached to the clothes pin right here and then what happens is this folds over and then because it's attached to the clothes pin, then that's what holds 
interesting. One moment, please. My, my mind is processing this because it shows it down here further. It shows it like down here. Like to me, I'm looking at where the ribbon is here and it's showing it really close to the bottom, like down here. But the clothespin doesn't go down any further. So it's really only attached. It's really only attached way at the bottom of the clothespin there for it to really work. So it's only hanging on by the frilly stuff here. It's not even really, I would have tried to attach it down here so that it was more stable, right? Like more like that, but then it's up way too high. So, okay, I guess what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the clothespin on so I know how low the clothespin goes. You know, how low can you go? I'm gonna put the, that like that. Then I honestly think over time, personal opinion, these little glue dots are just not going to stand the, the, like the test of time. I feel like eventually over time, those little glue dots, this is going to be falling off of here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do one for right now and we'll come back and we'll see if it dries good. I'm going to put the liquid glue right there. And for now, we're going to just set it exactly where it needs to, where I, I guess where I want to see it right there. Hopefully that glue, there's a like, there's a little bit of glue. You can see it through it, but there's like, that's what's going to happen because there's hole, like there's holes there. I have it centered exactly where I want it now, right? So we're going to see if this will dry very nicely. I got to get my five straight, you guys. I'm going to see if that is going to dry really nice. We'll come back to this, I think. We're going to let that one sit and marinate. We're gonna just line these up over on the side. We can always add them later. But what we're gonna do for this, we'll fold these over so that they're ready to go. And I guess what we'll do, we'll put our clothespins on. So I'm gonna, so in some of these clothespins, you gotta make sure that they're straight. So we're going to put that here that one here so that they're ready to go. And if this dries very nicely, I think I'm gonna opt for not using the mini glue dots and we will use the liquid glue. So there's very pretty. I wish that they had designer series paper that looked like that. You could cut these apart, you guys. For those crafty and creative people, you could cut these apart and use this as the background paper. All right, because if, if you wanted to put these on the actual card, you would definitely won't, can't use these clothespins if you make these into cards. All right, so wrong side. We gotta put this right there. So we're gonna let these just kind of sit here off to the side. All right, we'll let this guy dry a little bit more and then let's look at this next one. So number two is this pile right here. All right, so seems like we're going to have the same process here with our envelopes. So we might as well go ahead. Got the bone folder right here. Let's go ahead and fold these all over and burnish them. And then we'll get them prepped with our clothespins right away. Because I think it's going to be the same process of letting whatever it is attached to them and dry. So I'm just centering them right on the top. Like that. Like that, okay, and one more. And then set these off to the side. And look at what we gotta do. So we need Oh, sad face. Ha! <laughs> I just did all that work. And I... <laughs> my mom would say I was too efficient. <laughs> so, we need to open these up. It looks like we have to glue this gold here. So, of course, I would try to be proactive. And then I didn't look at the instructions. But we have to glue these onto, onto them. So, we're going to like line these up, you guys. All right, and now we're gonna glue. 
So me being me, I feel like I love when you have banners that are floating in the wind. So I'll be honest, I want to put, it's going to tell you to use, um, it's going to tell you to use glue dots to put these down. But I personally am going to put, if they give you dimensionals, you have extra dimensionals hopefully at home. I'm going to put dimensionals at the bottom so that they have a little gap at the bottom to make it look like they're flying. All right, so we're gonna pick all these off. Remember, I brought in a different sheet of dimensionals, so you might not, like depending on if you have dimensionals at home, you might not have enough if you only have those. So you might just use the glue dots. Now, we're gonna just <laughs> put a glue here at the top, just along the top. Okay. All right, so we got that all prepped, ready to go. So now you can take this and it kind of nestles up with the curve. Just center it as best you can. So there's one. So you guys, this is, I love to see the alternatives. I haven't really been on Facebook to like look and peruse if anybody's got alternatives out there of how you could make this into a card. This, I'm just putting all these on at once. Because I like to do the same step at the same time. It just it just makes for it to be really more efficient use of my time when I'm putting kits together or putting anything together. Like that, perfect. Kind of like rounds right with it. All right, so now we've got that. Then it's saying to put the berries on these leaves. So we've got berries hiding up here. And it looks like they fit the same shape. It shows the one that's lighter on the left like that. Um, that, I think I will put those flat. You could potentially pop them up too. But what we'll do is we'll get these staged, ready to go. And I'm going to just put the glue right onto where the berries need to go. Right there. And then all I have to do is drop the berries right onto them. Like that. And it shows the lighter berry on the bottom left. So let's just marry them up like this. So there's one. And there's that one. All right. They do, like, the colors are really nice. I love the, the it's like a mossy meadow, like a light mossy meadow meets old olive. And then they've got like a cherry cobbler mixed with the browns and the gold. It's very rustic. I love it. It is very pretty. So there's this. And pick up this last little guy. All right, perfect. There. So we've got those. Now that, now, now I think you guys are safe to put our clothes pins back on. Put these like that. Okay, one more here. Two more, actually three more. Put this guy here. And this guy. Okay, then we'll look at the picture really quick just to see how the berries go down and the holly. Looks like they get attached. Oh, so... They've got it kind of like that. They've got it covering up the metal clasp here, so it's up just high enough. I, I think I'm gonna try to use, let's see this guy really quick. That's, that dried pretty good. So this is definitely gonna be something where I think when you store this and use it from year to year, you're gonna wanna get a box and just set it very nicely in the box so that it doesn't get all ruffled and not good. All right, so then let's set it right like they have it kind of coming off. I can see it coming off the edge a little bit there. I guess that's how I'm going to put it, just like that. Okay, so I think we're, I'm just setting that off to, I don't know, are there little gems on this? There's not even gems on this. Okay, so we're going to set the gems here. I'm going to utilize some of my space over to the side here. After I glue these, we're going to 
to set them off to the side so they can dry. I think because this liquid glue is a craft glue, you guys, it should work just fine. So we're just prepping up the clothespins and covering up that silver just a little bit. And all I'm doing is gonna set this off to the side so that it can dry. When we come back, then hopefully it should be all set. So we're just, something like that. And we'll put this guy on. So there, we got six of them. I think we're over half done now with all of our hanging envelope, our hangy bobbers. Two more. Just like that. And one more. Good. I feel like I want gems on this. If we have any of these red sequins left at the end, we can come back and put a couple on the envelope, I think. All right. Whew, we got those done. Let's make a little space for them over here. All right. If we want to now, I think we'll go back. And why not? Let's do it to it. My thing with making the kit with you guys is we do finish it. We start and we go all the way to the end. Nothing left to put together so that I don't have to come back to it later in life and figure out what to do. So all I'm gonna do is set this into it, making sure my 13 is straight. That can go up just a hair right there, I think. Good. We'll let that one dry. Let's pull our six in. Set that right into it. Perfect. As long as you got your clothes pinned straight, hopefully then you get this straight. Then when you put it on the next time, it should be good. Okay, so that one's good. And then we're gonna do this one. Number 17. Perfect that guy on there and 25 everybody waits for 25 set that put that one over here now as long as we don't have a cat that jumps up we should be good honey is sleeping right behind me you guys she's keeping my back warm she nestled into the the cushion with me all right so there's that one and one more here, it's right here. Okay, all right, now we can say we're officially half done with this guy. All right, so we're gonna let these have some drying time off on the side here. Perfect, and then we're gonna go and work on number three, which is right here, must be this guy. Set these guys off to the side. Hopefully, Ooh, I'm running out of room. And let's just put him over there. Okay, so <laughs> before I get proactive, let's look at it. It looks like that just gets glued along the bottom and our, that gets glued to the clothespin. So we'll take these and burnish them. I think we're safe to do that. Maria says, excited, my kit is arriving on Monday, yay. Oh, Carol Alana, so you guys, it's so weird. I've been watching the comments down here and it stopped with Mary Carl's. Um, and up here now, I see that you guys are commenting lots. Oh my goodness, I missed everybody here, hang on. Wow, I felt like I was talking to myself for the longest time. So let's see here. We had the leftovers would be fun to use as templates to ink backgrounds. Yes, Paula, that is a great idea. And Carol's going to maybe use hers for cards. So, Carol, I can't wait to see um, what you guys, what you end up with with the cards. Good morning, Deb Norman. Hi, Jenna. There you guys are. There's Mary Lemke. Mary, I never called you after I got off of class last night. I went right into, like, um, work mode. <laughs> so, we'll talk today if we need to. I see that there's a little... Thing here that got caught on here from when I had punched out the things. Hi, Sherry Martin. Thanks for sharing. Uh, thanks, Patty Wright. All right, we're just going to glue these, you guys. So we're just going to add liquid glue on the backs of these. You could definitely use your glue dots, but 
I'm opting for our Tombow here. All right, perfect. And then these, it looks like there is um, a little border on the bottom. So you're not gonna cover up, you know, don't go all the way to the bottom. You're gonna leave like maybe a quarter inch. So there's one. Make sure your numbers are going the right direction. Yes. So Hildy said that the wreaths would look beautiful. It's a focal. As a focal image on an embossed white cardstock. I definitely agree. I noticed here, you guys, when I pulled when I pulled them out, it pulled off a piece of the, the brown. You can take a brown marker and just touch that up if you want to. No problem. Um, I would just need to punch out or do something to hide the numbers. Absolutely. Um, you could use the deckled circles or the stylish shapes, or they used to have layering circles if you have the layering circles. Yep, find a small circle. Probably a one-inch circle is what you need to cover that up. No problem. Hi, Feline Maze. All right, and then here. Tear and tape would actually work too, Carol. Definitely. Yep, tear and tape is a great thing to use as well. All right. Oh, Kara Alana said that my upline Kelly Atchison made this into cards. Very good. Do you think I would have seen that, you guys? <laughs> Again, I don't hang out on Facebook all the time. I do kind of scroll through every now and then because I do share my events and I post on Facebook, but I usually go out there to just check up on that kind of stuff. Hi, Judy Sharp. Better late than never, we say. Yep, Mary Lemke, you're usually there always when I call, so I will touch base with you when I get done here. Hi, Susan Bellamy. Yeah, we need one more here. It's very pretty. I could definitely say utilizing all these elements and um, making them into cards. If you're not a kit person like that doesn't make cards, like definitely you can make this into other um, projects. Um, this is really fine stuff, you guys. What they are telling us to do is glue these together and they're slightly offset like that. And then that's what gets put onto here. So, um, yeah. Hmm. All right, very finicky, fine stuff here. Let's see here. A little bit of liquid glue, not a lot, dot, dot, not a lot. You guys, that's how much I put on there. There's really not a lot. I'm going to now put this into that, slightly offset it, make it a little bit longer, something like that. All right, very picky. Hmm. Okay, but it's really pretty, it's dainty. And then that's going to get glued onto here. I think we're going to have the same concept as just putting a little bit of liquid glue right there versus glue dots and then setting this into it like that. Huh. All right. And then there are, oh man, we got to make bows. <laughs> okay. They're telling us to use some of the, I thought this was a paper bow. Um, it says 11 inches, and it must be using this twine right here. Okay, well, we'll get bow happy in a moment. For now, we've got a little bit of glue happiness to do. All right, so I'm going to try to do two of these at once, you guys, because that's how I operate usually. So I just want to do two, and then we're going to pick up one of these, slightly offset it, set it to the side, Slightly offset it. Set it to the side. Okay, so there's that. Might as well put our glue on those right away. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do them all. And then this gets set right into that. Okay, yeah, don't cover up your number. This one will get put right into that one. Okay. And then we have three left here. We'll do the same thing here, you guys. We're gonna we're gonna do our darndest here. Got those. 
and then slightly offset this one. Let it sit for a moment. We'll do this one. This is where if you have your silicone mat, perfect, grab it out so that your stuff can dry on your silicone mat because then you can easily clean it off. All right, so then this one can go here and then let's set that right into here. This one you might get a little glue finger action going on because it's so fine at the top. Cover that just a little bit. Okay, and then one more up here like that. Okay, so we got that stuff staged, let it dry. I am going to pull out the handy dandy tried and true bow maker, you guys. And I don't think that this ribbon gets used anywhere else. Let's just double check. Nope, just on those, okay. So it looks like we need to make six bows. You guys, I sell these bow makers. My, the person who I used to babysit for his kids when, um, like 25 years ago. He makes these for me now. He has, he loves to do woodworking. And so I wonder if there's enough to make double bows. There should be. I'm going to do a double bow, I think. So wrap it around twice. And then you go up, see, daisy, and under. And then you just knot it. And this is the back. So we're just going to, I hope that I'm okay doing a double bow. There's a little piece of tape on there. All right, grab your ribbon scissors. Let's cut our tails about that long. Let's see if that is a good size for us. That's perfect. Okay. All right. That just shows you how easy it is to make the bows. Carol Alanis just got a bow maker. So I hope you're using your bow maker for this when you get it, Carol. <laughs> All right. So let's make another one. So this is like, uh, it's like braided trim, kind of like linen, like it's like linen-y. And it's very pliable and flexible, not like me. And it actually is making some pretty nice bows. So we're gonna do one there. So what I've got between here is probably about an, a good inch and three quarters. So we're gonna do another one here. Flip that over, under. And then what we'll use, I don't do, um, I personally don't do liquid glue with bows. I feel like anytime you have fabric or soft like ribbon like this liquid glue is not your friend it just gets weird so i definitely oh we're getting down to the end here um we're gonna make we got three more wow okay we should have enough though i <laughs> hopefully i don't need to use it anywhere else <laughs> okay feline loves her bow makers yay her bow maker that's great feline yeah, you guys, I personally don't think I would make bows if I didn't have a bow maker. And I know you can use a fork and you can use other things, but this is always the easiest for me. And I'm trying to make sure that this isn't twisted. So let's just go like this. Some people put little grippies on the bottom so that it stays better. It's a nice cherry cobbler color, you guys. Nothing like whipping out here six bows, lickety split. And you don't waste any ribbon then. Did you see what's happening? I just cut off a scrap here. Like that, I, like no ribbon wasted when you use the bow maker like this. Okay, one more here and <laughs> I got a little bit left. Hopefully I wasn't supposed to use it anywhere else. <laughs> kind of looked at the instructions, but I didn't see anything. All right, there's that. Okay, so that guy goes right there. So you have a little bit left, hopefully, to use on different projects. I have it right in front of me and use it all the time. Yay, awesome. All right, so that goes and sits there. Look at that, out of all of those bows, that's the only, at the moment, only thing I wasted. Um, I definitely... I think what I'm going to use are glue dots, you guys. And we actually went through all of our glue dots last night. So this girl needs to grab another box of glue dots. So let's see here. We'll grab the pokey tool. 
and start. I'm going to put, I don't know, I'm going to put two there just to be safe. And find the front of it. There's that. So we're going to just kind of stick that right into it. Cool. So far, that's what we have. We do have to put some of these sequins on it's showing. Um, we're going to do one. They're going to be really hard to attach, I'll tell you. We're going to do one there. One there. I, I might put my finger underneath to provide some support. I'll put, I don't know, one there. Uh, one there. It shows five of them, so we'll do the five. Okay. All right. Thanks, Vicki. Now, the question is, what are you guys going to put in your envelopes? Because you have to have a flat kind of candy in there. If you don't have a flat candy or something, it's going to get bulgy, kind of weird. Okay, so just trying to think what we're going to put in there. All right, so we've got one done. All right, so we need to take our bows off, and we're going to prep with glues. We are going to do glue dot and a glue dot. So I was putting two glue dots there. I might as well grab two right off the bat. And it just has extra stickiness, I think, for that bow to stick into. So there's those two. And then we're going to grab two, set them right there. those right there and right here okay so we've got all of our glue dot action going <clears throat> then let's stick our bows into it okay, I can go there so your tails you might have your tails going every which way I guess depend if you need to trim them anymore I tried to trim them even. Some might be a little hair longer than the others and some might be a little shorter and I'm okay with that. Hopefully within the bow itself, they're the, the same length. Let's look at that tail, it's going all wicked wampus up there. All right, and then one more over here. Perfect, okay. They're looking nice, very nice, very nice. We need to do some more gems though. So I just put my finger underneath there. I had one down here, so that's gonna be easy. Put that on every one right off the bat. Boom, and come on little guy, right there. All right, so that one was easy. Then we have this guy off to the side over here. He's gonna be easy. Put that right there. And one over here and there. Okay, then this one will be fine too, I think. I'll put it right there. It's getting to the ones that are up higher that I don't want to press down. Because I gotta put my finger underneath, I think, to help support it there. So that one's done. And then this one, I need one up here. It's like right there, and then right there. Cool, all right, that one's done. They're looking nice, aren't they? All right, this guy can go here. Up there we need one, and I want that one. <laughs> there it is. Right there, we'll put him. Okay, okay so we have just two left to finish off, of, and then we'll go to the last one. And there's that. Three more to go. This one. Up 
here. And we'll put this guy right there. All right. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, so we've got those done. Let's set those off to the side and we'll put them over here. And we've got one grouping left to do. And it's the one here with the poinsettias. And it looks like we can fold all of our flaps. Oh, Mary, yes, Carol. Fabulous idea. Mini Ghirardelli squares. Um, that they would fit in there perfectly. They'd be thin enough where it wouldn't be popping and bulging. Definitely Sherry Stewart, I agree. Gift cards, IOU cards, yep. Um, it might be a lot to put 25 different gift cards unless you do like a five or $10 gift card. Um, it depends who you're giving it to, right? You might put a $50 gift card in every one of those. I would love to be the recipient of that, but um, gift cards, or you could do IOU. I owe you a back massage. I owe you a foot rub. I owe you dinner. I owe you a movie. I owe you, yes, exactly. So it could be definitely IOUs for the whoever you're giving it to. Um, all right, so it looks like we got to get these gold. And I think we're going to pop that. We're going to glue them flat. So we're just going to grab the liquid glue. Oops, oops, that didn't even have my cover on. So there's one, two, three, four, five. All right, so these are nestled right in the corner down here. I love the idea of the IOU. <laughs> and I'm going to do this right here. Okay. Deb Norman loves her bow maker too. Yes, it helps definitely if you have problems with your fingers um, in there. They, if you have, like I'm bound and determined to not get it, but I'm going to. I get, I'm going to get my grandma's knuckles. I know that my grandma had really big knobby knuckles and I can see that my moms are starting to have that. So I know I'm going to get, eventually later in life, I will get the big finger um, knuckles. And so she always says to me, just be happy and grateful that you have little nimble fingers right now that you can do all this stuff because it's not going to be like that forever. I'm like, thanks, mom. <laughs> Appreciate the honesty. Um, but I get it. So the bow maker does have help. If you have hands that don't like to hold things and make little bows, like wrapping it around there and going up and over and then tightening it, it definitely helps. So definitely helps with your bow making adventures. All right, so these are all getting glued down. Then I think it's saying that we can, again, put our clothes pins down like this. I'm gonna put them down so I know exactly where my flowers are going to go. Like that. Oh man, you guys, I messed up. No, I didn't, Never mind. I was looking at this one, I'm like, I think I need to make more bows, but this one doesn't have bows, so I think I'm okay getting excited here. If you have children with chores, they could give up a chore, then delegate to another sibling. There you go. Good idea. Vicki Eakins for kids, $1, $5, or $10. You betcha. If you did like 10, $1, or what would you do? 15, $1 maybe, and then five, $5, and five, $10. That could work. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right. So let's see what we've got here. No, oh, one more clothespin. I knew there was one more over here. Put that guy right there. Okay, so then that can go back here. All right, so we're ready to go with our flower power here. So all we're doing is putting, I think I will opt for the liquid glue, but let's just play this out here. That is just going to get attached. It's looking like right there. Okay, I got it. So it's going to go on here like that. So what I'm going to do is a little liquid glue on all of these. And then let's just marry these up. It was So there's a leaf coming out over here and then the two come down there. So there's that one. That's fine with me. And that goes there. So have you guys, have you 
taken any advice with how I glue all six things at once and then um, and then put it together, would you have done that? Or would you guys normally have, that goes like this, I think. Would you have normally done one, picked it up, put glue on one, pick it up, put glue on one? Like, or is this something new to you guys to see, oh, let's glue all of this at, like put all six of them and glue them and then you're not picking up and putting down. Like I pick things up and I put things down. <laughs> Hopefully that helped you guys to see that you can do all that. The glue didn't dry in the interim. Now what we're gonna do is <clears throat> this, looks like it goes like that up here gosh they it feels like there's like I feel like that looks the same that one looks like it goes here oh it does quietly it does go over that a little bit okay so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to put my liquid glue Ooh, man let me just test that one more time here chocolate coins oh would be a thing enough or even the gold dollar coins for some days. Yeah, Paula Rice, that's a great idea. So I'm looking at this. I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe putting the glue down here. So we're going for it. We're putting it on all of them. I'm not even gonna test one, I'm just doing it. We'll figure it out. All right, then let's grab a flower power. Find a spot to put it. I feel like I want the metal covered up. But I want this to be angled that way a little bit. I guess we're going like that. Okay, that's how that one is. Ha! I want it down slightly. I want it like that. But then, so I like the concept of covering up a little bit of the gold, but you see the silver up there. I think we're going right there. Okay, that's good. I'm going to live with it. This one we'll put like that. There. I like that. I wonder if I would have done that on this one. Hang on. Nope. I like that one better like this. Okay. I might have put the green leaf in a different spot on that. That's why. Your way is very organized. Good. Yay. You would have it all over. <laughs> that's funny. All right. That's going to go like that. I like that one. Like that. All right, then we've got this guy. Make sure our clothes pin's good. Like that. Perfect, and then, so just an FYI, one of the little projects that we're working on in the hive today is putting out a request to people who I don't have their birthdays that I work with in my business. So like if you're a customer, if you're on my team, I have your birthday because I can see it in the, my reports. But if you are a customer and I don't have your birthday, I always try to send shouts out to, hey, send me what your year and month is. I don't need to know the year, right? All I need to know is the month and the year. And if you've taken classes from me in the last, like let's say six months to a year, or if you've purchase product from me so like you're a customer of either taking classes or buying product like I do a birthday card club where I send you a birthday card the month of your birthday and so one of the little projects we're working on in the hive today is getting an email drafted and sent out to people who I don't have their birthdays for so if you if you've gotten a birthday card from me in the past no I've got your birthday that means I've got it um, but if you don't have if you've got not gotten a birthday and you're my customer or um, on my team or um, or place orders with me, either of those, just know I, I have so many of these left. Uh, you'll be getting an email from me and all you have to do is respond back with when your birthday is, the month and the year, so I can make sure to get your birthday added to my database. So I can send you a birthday card. I feel like chicken tonight. No, I feel like, I think we're done assembling, but I have all of this left over, which I could add them now. So I, I feel like it's okay to add these now because I feel like I want, I feel like chicken tonight, just kidding. I've said that a couple times because that's when I say I feel like and then that's how you end it chicken tonight there I want one there I think that really zhuzh that up a little bit I've got them I'm wondering if they wanted us to use them maybe I missed putting them on a different card but let's go ahead and put these on this one's a different one so let's go back over here so be on the lookout if you might get an email. It might go into your spam folder too, you guys. If you don't generally get 
emails from me personally. So I have two different email addresses I work with. One is my Cards by Christine, where you get all your updates about my classes and that information. And then when I email you guys PDF tutorials, that's from my personal email address, chrismbertram at msn.com. If you don't get emails from me, from me for classes, that's where you need to go to my website, cardsbycrispy.com. You need to get subscribed to... Um, you need to get subscribed to my emails to get emails from me uh, for classes. All right, so there's that. I'm loving the bling on this. All right. And, oop, he wanted to run away on me. There's that one. I'm going to put that one up there, I guess. Okay. Perfect. So those are done. So let's move that. So we've got those numbers here done. These over here also done. How oh, they're so pretty, so elegant. I love the colors, the cherry cobblers, of one of my favorite colors. I love early espresso. And then when you mix Mossy Meadow in with it, it's just amazing. I'm throwing away all my little schniblins here. All right, then we had these done. So these are probably dry at this point. Okay, so let's bring all these back in. What's left are these guys, these guys. Oh, it just fell on the floor. Oh, I wish I had a pick. Oh, I'm gonna use my twisters. I'm gonna disrupt Honey because she's right behind me. <laughs> And I know as soon as I moved forward, she kind of took some of my space off the chair. That was funny. Okay, so I think since we have gems left, we're going to gemify these that are left here. They should be dry now. The bling really adds. I definitely agree, Karen. Definitely. All right. So on this one, I see a spot up here where we could add the two together. And then over on the side is where I would put those. Right there. Nice touch. Yeah, I'm so happy they have so many gems. You guys, sometimes the putty sticks. You gotta get that putty off of here so that it's not on your project. You're, we're gonna end up with some gems left here too. So there's that. Let's put those there. We're almost done, you guys. The kit came together really nicely. I would say I didn't start on it until probably a quarter after at the earliest. It might have even been a hair later. So it took me about an hour to like figure things out. Now that you guys saw it, hopefully you know what's going on with it for when you make it. I didn't find any big hiccup. Whoa. Oh, oh you guys got to see this cat. Hang on. Let's see if you guys can see this. Hang on. Look at her. She's like, just like camped out right here, hanging out. She's just happy as a lark. Look at that little face. Isn't she adorable? Oh my goodness, little baby. Okay, so <laughs> now you can see I had a buddy this entire time. She, you guys saw when she was on camera in the beginning. I'm gonna get my, hang on. Let's get, oh, I found my gem. Here it is. I fell on the floor. All right, let's go back here. <laughs> she jumped up on my, chair here when right when we started and she's been back there the whole time hunky's sleeping on a chair if i'm not mistaken um he is on a chair over where my computer's sitting so we got that one there oh we have one more over here okay so we're doing good there extra dimensionals there let's grab these last two and then we'll talk about the next step on this. <laughs> well, we have been talking about what we're gonna put in them, right? So make sure you figure out what you wanna put in it. And then we're gonna talk about the whole string part of it because I haven't really worked on that. Uh -huh. Such a cute kit. You ordered three for your grandkids this year for my your daughter to put in their rooms now to get them done before December. Oh man, I think Feline, if you sit down for an afternoon, if you can find and steal away an afternoon, I don't think you'll have any trouble getting these put together. Um, I might do one kit at a time so that you don't like get confused. Me being me, I would probably be like, okay, I'm gonna pull all three kits and put all the piles together. But 
that could work too, because then you would make all three at the same time. Um, and that might be a very good, efficient use of your time. Just be very organized if you are going to do that. All right, so we can put this back. Now, if you have the Stella pen, make sure you get on the Stella pen and Stella everything you possibly can. Um, these holly leaves right here would be so pretty and your berries to add the Stella to them. Yes, queen, I love it. Look at this. Look at that. Um, I was looking for those Stella pens. I opened up my drawer and there they were. The one I've been using there is kind of dead. The Stella, I don't know if you guys can even see that on there, but just putting a little bit of Stella. You can even Stella the clothespin, you guys. Look at that, Stella that clothespin. <laughs> Why not? All right, all of this stuff can be Stella because it's like it's designer paper. You can, you're not gonna, nothing is gonna bleed. You can Stella your stumps here. Why not? Just to make it sparkle a little bit. Okay, poinsettias definitely too. You could definitely do them. Okay, let's go a little bit more. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Thanks, Marsha. Marsha, you sent me a text last night about what was needed for getting, so we did the monthly class last night, you guys, um, and Marsha asked about getting different ink pads. So Marsha, I, I need to get back to you on what would be good because you want to place an order to get last night's class for free. So um, I'll be reaching out to you to help you figure out what ink pads would be good to get going with that one. Now for this one over here, you guys, ugh, it's hard, but you could definitely go like a little bit over that. Just a little bit. Get some, maybe just a little bit on there. It's hard, I don't wanna disrupt my gems. Pretty see them this way than online. Great, good, good, I'm glad. All right, okay, now let's recap what this is needing next. You guys like the bling on it. Great. Hi, Shirley Vanderbloomer. This kid is adorable. You want it. You are so organized. Putting the kids together. I love it. <laughs> oh, Shirley, you're so cute. Um, well, I'll make a mental note that we got to chat about what well, we'll figure out. Because I um, I have a little pile for you, Shirley. It's over there, right where those boxes are. You have a paper pumpkin back there. If I can get this kit ordered, you have a box shipping from my house anyways. So we could probably add it to it. So um, I'm tempted almost to get another one of these kits now too. So let's see here though. We got to get to the string because I want to make these into Christmas. I think these would be adorable making, revamping all of them. I have to go look what Kelly Atchison did, how she made them into Christmas cards. Um, you could even, I mean, you can't really use the clothespin on a card with mailing it. It's just too thick. But if you do a hand deliver of a card, you could just throw this onto a mat and a card and then put a gift card in here. Um, you could even, instead of putting these on the clothespins, glue it right on, like glue this right onto here, and you could use this as a gift card. Oh man, these, like skip the clothespins altogether. If you give gift cards for Christmas to people, these could be glue all, whatever I glued onto the clothespin, glue it directly onto the top flap here. And then when people open it, they can still get in and get their gift card. Yes, I love it. Okay. Now you guys, no. <laughs> I hope you guys go out and buy this kit, but don't buy so many that there's not one there for me when I want to go get one. <laughs> oh, the string. Okay, so I'm guessing what we're doing. Let's look at the picture of it in general. It looks like there's three, there's a lot. What are your ideas, you guys, for putting the, um, the string? Will you put this, hang it on a wall? Or are you going to hang it on a board? Like, I get it. Like, what we have to do is open up our string here, figure out where there's the end. Sometimes that's really hard to find. It looks like they knotted the end, right? They, this is not good for making bows. You guys, this ribbon is not, it's really thick and coarse. It's harder. So I would definitely not use this for making bows. Um, just side note. But the, it looks like they tacked it down. Like, that to me looks like a thumbtack. So you tack it down on something, but... Would you get just like a piece of board? I guess what these 
are going to do is just, you put this, you know, it's going to hang on there, right? So you need something for it to like hang against so that they don't go like that, right? But ultimately the next step is to hang these up in date order. And I'll be honest with you, there's 25 of them. <laughs> That's way too much to put on one long string. They are showing it on three different ones. And so you can make a little sign for the middle there too. Like you could call it Christmas countdown. You could take a piece of crumb cake cardstock and then a piece of white and handwrite on it or print it on the computer. You could put Christmas countdown uh, or countdown to Christmas and put that in the middle it looks like because they've got a little gap there. And then you can make three of these, find some, po you know, I don't know, make it look cool though. Like I was thinking poster board, but you could take poster board and then decorate it with some sheets of designer paper. I don't know. You gotta decorate, decorate it up. Um, you would put the string under the flap. Okay, good idea. So here's what Sherry Stewart just said. Um, Kara Alanis, I did get my autumn paper. Thank you for asking. You guys, I had my club. So this is what Sherry Stewart just said to do. Put the string underneath the flap. Amazing idea. Okay, that's perfect. And then it's coming out of the, the bottom of the flap. That's perfect. Great job, Sherry Stewart. I love that idea. Um, so Carol Alanis, I had my club class on Monday when we talked about it, that the paper came back in while I was doing my, let's just stamp on Monday. Club class started at 615. At 615, we went on to see if it was still there. Like we looked, it was low inventory. So during class, my gals were so easy going. They're like, yep, go get your order in. So I sat with them during class and I got my order in for everybody that I knew that was pending needing the paper. And also for the people in club class, I was able to get that paper ordered for them. So I got my packs ordered. It wasn't like a hundred, you guys. I only needed like a dozen. So I didn't take all the inventory, I promise. It wasn't me. Um, so, but this is, look at that picture, you guys. Isn't that not pretty? Like so pretty. I think I'm gonna get a kit and use these and make them up as gift cards and then save the clothespins. They're always great for um, if you just need clothespins. So yeah, super pretty. All right, do you guys like it? Maybe use a piece of foam core board to mount the strings to. Yes, Paula Rice. Um, Carol said the same thing. You could buy a big, thick foam board. I love it. Um, Sherry Stewart, you get the um, MVP award for today um, for telling us to put the string underneath the flap because I think that is the most phenomenal thing versus having it, I would have put it, like I would have attached all the strings back here like that and then it would have been more flippy floppy. But putting it underneath the envelope flap is amazing. Great idea. Um, they said it sold out in five hours. Yeah. Um, if that, no, it was that you guys, we were live at one o'clock central and you guys, I think it was Judy Sharp mentioned it at halfway through class and at six ten. no, at eight o'clock, it was more than five hours. I went in at six fifteen in low inventory. And when we went back to check at eight, it was gone. And so it was maybe six. Yeah, you're, it could have been five hours. It could have been six hours. It was something like that. It was it was stupid fast though, like really fast. And now you guys, it does show October 23rd, which is not next week, but the week after. It's showing more inventory coming in. So hopefully it's supposed to be in the same day that that autumn copper ribbon is in. So hey, phoning a friend, if anybody sees that copper ribbon come in or the um, with the natural ribbon come in, contact me. I need to get, because my ink, paper, scissors people, I had about 25 people that were okay not getting the ribbon in their ink, paper, scissors. And I'm holding on to like 10 of them here. So as soon as I can get that ordered for those people, that will make everybody happy with that class. So yay. Your teamwork makes the dream work, you guys, right? All right. Whew, you guys, we did it. It was an hour and a half for kit class. Usually kit class is about an hour, but we didn't do a lot of chitty chatty in the front end, but we did a little. Um, and I just re it realized it dawned on me like about 20 minutes ago, I color coded everybody who placed a $75 order, but I did not put in, I had a few people that did um, in-person orders with me that were over $75 and I didn't put them into the list and I didn't number everything. So we're just, if in case anybody was wanting or waiting for that today, I, I think I'm not, I'm not totally there yet. Um, I have mystery card night, you guys, on Monday night. So Monday night, mystery card night. I will do the drawing, I promise, for the people who placed $75 order or more. I will do that for that free stamp set that I'm offering. Um, I didn't pull that together last night. It wasn't on my list. 
Um, it needed to be on my list. You guys, when things are on my list, that's when they really get done. Uh, so I got to write things down. I, you guys think I remember a lot of things, and I do, but that's because I write everything down. Um, if I don't write things down, I don't remember. There's just too much to remember. So uh, so we'll do that drawing on Monday night. Uh, I think you guys will be okay with that. It's just one more, just like three more days. <laughs> so put it on the tree. Oh, Shirley Vanderbloomer. Yes. Put it on the tree for ornaments to a countdown. So yeah, you could use the clothespins and attach them onto your tree. There's plenty of space there for it to go onto your tree. You could add, yeah, perfect. You could even get a special little tree. You guys, they make little small trees. Uh, you could get like a little baby four foot tree and have these all over the tree. So it was a great kit. Yeah, I like it. I didn't know what to expect going into it. I kind of had, I guys, I did have a little bit of a preconceived notion that it wasn't cards. I'm not going to like it. And I came out of it with like, just look at this. Like I get to stare at this for the moment. Like it, I came out of it and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And there's so many different alternatives and options and ideas that we've been sharing that you guys can make this into something um, that is useful for you. So, oh, thanks, Paula. I will definitely have a lot of fun, you guys. So if you missed the beginning, we picked the mask I'm going to wear for the wedding today. This masquerade. I think this is I think this is the one I'm going to go with. Nicole getting, and Nicole Herrick, I just was trying to see your message. I can't read it with my glasses off. So um, awesome. So you guys, whew, we're going to finish up a few things here in the hive this afternoon. And then um, get ready for a wedding, you guys. And then tomorrow is my, I said it's a, what did I call it? My mental health day of cleaning and organizing and getting my life back in order in the house. <laughs> so that I'm looking forward to that, you guys. Maybe washing the kitchen floors, maybe washing the bathroom floor. Like that, I look forward to doing that because I don't generally have time to do that. So tomorrow is the day to get that done. Oh, Carol said that Target had a cute tiny tree for $3. Perfect. Um, Shirley Vanderbloomer, I did not, oh, I don't know. I got two envelopes in the mail today. I have not opened them. And I didn't really look to see who Julie Kaler is one of them. And I don't remember the other one. But if it's not here today, surely it'll definitely be here tomorrow or Monday. So perfect. All right, you guys, we'll see you on Monday night now for mystery card night. Um, we have clue number one is published. Um, and look for those. It's a fun fold, you guys. There's lots of pieces. Um, it should be a good one. All right. I'm going to sign off. Lots of sunshine, love, and big hugs to you guys. Enjoy your Friday. And from Honey in the hot seat here. She's still there. Honey says, bye. Bye, guys. She goes, bye. <laughs> All right. Oh, she's like, Mom, you woke me up. Sorry, I put my thumb in the middle. She's like, Mom, you woke me up. All right, you guys. I'm going to come to 10 just in case it ends early. Love you a long time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.